Hey, Kirk Junge here from LearningGolf.tv. Today with my short golf tip video is hitting a bunker shot. And I'm using my setup for impact setup, which makes it easier to make good contact and control the depth of the shot through the sand or the club through the sand. Uh, the difference between this and my normal pitch shot, uh, you might have seen in the lob shot video, is simply setting up with the stance a little bit open. Uh, I'm going to open the club face about 40 degrees, so quite a bit. And the reason for that is so that when the club hits the sand, uh, that it doesn't dig, that it slides under the ball. If the face is square, what happens, you hit the sand and it goes down into the sand, uh, which makes it difficult to get consistency in your shots. So important here is going to be that you're fairly aggressive through the shot and that you can hit a spot which is about one club head length uh, before you get to the ball, say about four inches. What I've done here to make it a little bit easier to get good feedback is I've drawn a line in the sand four inches behind the ball. Some people also like to draw another line here about 12 inches beyond the ball, and that's where we want to be removing the sand. So it'll look like this. I would make a couple practice swings, set up a little bit wider than usual, and then simply make a couple swings like this and checking where you hit in relation to the line. Basically, the position where I want to hit the sand is in the middle of my stance, so it looks like that. Uh, obviously, on the golf course, you can't make a practice swing, so I would do that outside of the bunker, getting the setup the way you're going to need to be. If you have an uphill bunker shot, trying to find an uphill lie. Once you get a good feel for it outside of the bunker, come back and then I want you to hover your club head above the spot in the sand that you want to hit. So I have my club head about five inches actually behind the ball. So it's a little bit up in the air. And then I just focus on making the swing and taking out the sand in the proper spot. So something like this. So and then I check afterwards when I'm practicing exactly where I made contact. Controlling distance with the length of swing uh, and the different wedges. This is a 60 degree wedge. So you can see uh, I hit the line pretty much every time. Uh, one was slightly early. Uh, but it still comes out fine because the depth of the swing is the depth of the club through the sand is controlled because of the open club face and so they all worked out pretty well so for more information on the setup for impact golf swing visit my website at learninggolf.tv there is a free learning series available and please subscribe to my youtube channel and like this video thank you very much